guys welcome back to my channel as you already know from the title of this video i'm going to be making a product review today like i'm going to be reviewing this product right here so it's a sunscreen it's called the skin doctor sunscreen spf 60. so i'm going to be telling you guys what i feel about this sunscreen i'm going to be telling you my honest opinion about this sunscreen what i observed while using this sunscreen and what has it done to my skin like my honest review my honest opinion about it i'm also going to be sharing with you guys some sunscreen tips or tricks to use when getting your sunscreen and also while applying your sunscreen what to do and what not to do when using your sunscreen and what to take note of when getting a sunscreen i'll also be showing you guys the proper way to apply sunscreen because most people don't know the correct way of applying sunscreen i'm sorry to say that but yeah most people don't know the correct way of applying sunscreen but in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to apply your sunscreen properly to give you maximum sun protection because if you don't apply it the right way you're just wasting your time you're just wasting your sunscreen because you're going to get some bone because you're not applying it the right way so you want to make sure you watch to the end of this video to know the proper way to apply sunscreen and lastly you guys are going to know whether this sunscreen leaves white cast or not so guys if this sounds interesting to you please make sure you like this video and let's get right into the video so if this is your first time stopping by please don't make it your last make sure you click on that red subscribe button to get subscribed to my channel and also catch up on other videos here on my channel and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you'll be the first to get notified anytime i upload interesting videos like this one okay and to my notification gang if you're not new here thanks so much for coming back to watch this video so now let's get to it so this is the sunscreen i want to talk about it's called the skin doctor sunblock spf 60 so i won't really be talking much about sunscreen about the benefits of sunscreen because i already have a video for that i have a video on this channel where i talked extensively about sunscreens what to watch out for when getting your sunscreen and some of the best sunscreens that i've tried so i'll leave the link up here so just go watch that video after watching this video no stay and watch this video before going to watch that okay so this was not the sunscreen i was using before but when i wanted to get this one i was a bit skeptical about it because it's a mineral sunscreen let me remove it from the pack for you guys to see so this is how it looks like inside yeah this is how it looks like so i was a bit skeptical of buying this sunscreen because it's a mineral based sunscreen and if you've watched that my other video about sunscreen i made mention of the fact that most mineral sunscreens always leave white cast and i don't want a sunscreen that leaves white cast you get so, so it's a mineral sunscreen mineral sunscreens contains titanium dioxide and zinc oxide and from this ingredient list it contains titanium dioxide i don't know if you guys can see it i'll try to move it closer so it contains titanium dioxide okay let me show you from here so this is it up close so see, these are the ingredient list and you can see you see that there's titanium dioxide there so it's a mineral sunscreen and so i was a bit skeptical about it whether to go for it because i obviously don't want a sunscreen that will leave white cast but i'll be showing you guys how i apply this sunscreen and then i'll leave you guys to judge whether it leaves white cast or not before then let me share some tips or tricks with you guys when getting your sunscreen so the number one thing you want to take note of when getting your sunscreen is to make sure to get a sunscreen of at least spf 50 like i know some people might say spf 30 is still okay yeah i know it's okay but to be on the safer side i like to go for spf 50 and above you get like you know to make sure it's half of 100 right <laughs> and this sunscreen has spf 60 so that was one of the main reason why i got it so spf 60 it's okay so just make sure it's spf 50 and above another thing you want to make sure your sunscreen have is uva and uvb rays protection look at this sunscreen right here it says spf uva uvb eye protection now let me explain something to you about this uva and uvb rays uva rays are longer rays that have longer wavelengths so because of this they have the ability to quickly penetrate deep into your skin once they eat your skin thereby causing 
skin issues like aging skin, wrinkles, skin tanning, and the rest. Why do UVB rays are shorter rays with shorter wavelengths that would only just eat the surface of your skin to cause you skin redness, sunburn. So once you notice you are having skin redness or sunburn, it's most probably UVB rays. But UVA rays goes deep into your skin to cause skin tanning, wrinkles, aging skin on your skin. So none of these rays are good for your skin. So you want to make sure your sunscreen will be able to provide protection against both the UVA and UVB rays. So that was why I got this one because it has UVA plus UVB rays eye protection. And I think that is why most people still complain of sunburn and skin redness even while using sunscreen. It is because their sunscreen does not provide UVB protection. Probably the sunscreen only provides UVA protection. So once you use a sunscreen like that, definitely you're still going to keep experiencing skin redness and sunburn, which is wrong. So you want to make sure your sunscreen protects your skin from both UVA and UVB rays. While for some people, it could be the way they apply their sunscreen. Some people don't know how to apply their sunscreen properly. If you don't apply your sunscreen properly, like the right way to apply sunscreens, it's just as if you are wasting your sunscreen because it's not going to work. You keep seeing redness, sunburn, skin tan, and the likes on your skin. So I'm going to be showing you guys the correct way to use your sunscreen. So please make sure you keep watching to the end of this video, okay? Another thing I love about this sunscreen is that it comes with a very high sun protection. If you've watched my first video on sunscreen, you remember I talked about SPF rating. Yeah, the rating of this sunscreen is very, very good. It says here that eye protection. So some sunscreens you will see, they will write medium protection, low protection, but this one is eye protection. So I love the fact that it is eye protection because we're in Nigeria. We need all the protection you can get from the sun, right? It also says here that it intensely moisturizes and it is non-greasy and quickly absorbing formula. So that was another reason why I got this sunscreen because I don't want a sunscreen that will keep sitting on my face without absorbing into my skin or a sunscreen that will make my skin feel greasy. No, I don't want that. I wanted a matte sunscreen so that was why i went for this one and it still moisturizes despite the fact that it doesn't cause any greasiness on your face it's still going to help moisturize your skin so any skin type can actually use this if you have dry skin you can use this if you have oily skin you can still use this it's not going to cause any form of greasiness on your skin but we're going to see if this sunscreen really moisturizes and doesn't cause greasiness when i try it on later on so you want to keep on watching I want you guys to be the judge. This sunscreen is also made in Thailand, like it's made in Thailand, which is also one of the reasons why I got it because I love Thailand products. Like Thailand products are very, very nice. Like they are very, very okay. Now guys, another trick I want you to know is that before you start applying your sunscreen, you want to make sure you moisturize with your face moisturizer. So this is my face moisturizer now and I'm just going to apply this over my face before I start using my sunscreen because there's nothing on my face right now like my face is bare I just washed my face then I started filming so I'm just going to apply a bit of my face moisturizer all over my face before I start applying my sunscreen please guys don't forget to apply your face moisturizer don't say that because you're going to apply your sunscreen then you skip your face moisturizer no you still need that moisture you need your face moisturizer on your skin before your sunscreen okay that's how you layer your sunscreen so now i'm done applying my face moisturizer so now i'll go into details about how i apply this sunscreen so when you're applying your sunscreen you don't just want to pump out few of it then apply and think you've applied your sunscreen no there's a rule to it yeah is it that you use your two fingers yeah is that use the two finger rules or the three finger rules i'm going to show you guys the two in this video so let's try it yeah and i tried the second finger please be generous with your sunscreen guys be generous with it So guys so this is the two finger method if you want to use the three finger method as well you can as well just add one to this one this is my three finger rule sunscreen 
now that method you can use to know if this three finger rule method is the right proportion of sunscreen to use is to test with your teaspoon yeah so this three finger rule method must be equal to your teaspoon so this is a tablespoon but half of this tablespoon is my teaspoon so i'm just going to scoop out the sunscreen and check if it's up to half of this tablespoon okay so this is half of the tablespoon and as you can see it's enough so now go ahead and test yours with your teaspoon if you have a teaspoon yes just go ahead and test with your one over four teaspoon yeah that is the right measurement if it's lesser than this then there's a probability that you're not going to get the full protection of this sunscreen now let's see if this sunscreen will leave white cast on my face or not so guys i'm done blending the sunscreen into my face now as you can see it's not doing bad like it didn't leave any form of white cast on my face but i had to fast forward this clip i had to cut some parts because here yeah, it took me about three minutes to fully blend this sunscreen into my face so, so i'll advise you blend this sunscreen well into your face if you're going to be using it so if you're going out then i'll advise you like use the sunscreen like 15 minutes or 10 minutes before you step out of the house so that you can thoroughly blend the sunscreen into your face there's no sunscreen you're going to rub within 60 seconds that it's going to like absorb really fast into your skin it's going to take at least one to two minutes so yeah i finished blending this within two minutes and yeah i love the results it's okay it's not giving me this whitish look or um white cast kind of look yeah but there's something i noticed is that once you apply this sunscreen on your face you want to begin blending immediately so the mistake i made was that when i applied this sunscreen on my face before blending i tried to take thumbnail pictures i know choosing the best thumbnail pictures takes a while so i think it's kind of dried up on my face so i had a tough time trying to blend it in but yeah this is not my first time of using this sunscreen so the key to it is that you want to begin blending immediately you apply the sunscreen on your face so once you begin blending immediately without it getting dried up yeah you're going to love the look like it's not going to give you any kind of whitish look and you're not going to really it's not really going to stress you before it's absorbed easily into your skin so i want you guys to take note of that and if you ask me if this sunscreen is greasy or not or oily i'm touching my face now and i kind of like the feeling i'm getting like it's not giving me any greasiness it's just giving me a matte finish like my face feels dry which is what i was going for i don't want something that will look greasy on my face or that will start to sweat easily and then to start to wash up no i don't want that so i wanted something dry and this is very dry on my skin like it's going to be very very good for people with oily skin especially like, like it's, it's going to give you a matte finish on your face you know what i mean so it's going to be a matte finish so you're not going to experience greasiness oily skin around your forehead your t-zone or any other place you do experience oiliness no you're not going to experience it's going to be a matte finish or should a dry skin person try this sunscreen out no like i would not advise a dry skin person to try this out because it's going to give you a matte finish and your face is already dry already it's going to make it drier so i think i think a dry skin person needs something a little bit greasy than this like not so greasy like something that will just help moisturize your face you don't want to use something that will keep drying up your face i don't have a dry skin so that was why i said i would advise people with oily skin to go for this sunscreen because it's going to give you a matte finish suck up all the oils on your face you get now there's another thing i noticed about this sunscreen it's not good for sensitive skin like no 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 please if you have a sensitive skin please don't use this sunscreen like you're going to react like you're going to react to it i don't know whether you watched my previous video where i was recommending some skincare products for dark skin i mentioned this sunscreen i said that this sunscreen will not be good for sensitive skin because i noticed that it was kind of giving me pimples tiny tiny pimples on my face so that's why i'll be getting another one after this one runs out like it's almost out it's almost out so after this one runs out i'm going to discontinue it i'm not getting this anymore so please if you have sensitive skin don't use this so you don't come for me that i ask you to use this if you have sensitive skin please don't use this sunscreen like don't do it 
after applying your sunscreen if you want to wear makeup yeah you can go ahead and start doing your makeup like if i want to do my makeup after applying my sunscreen and letting it sit for at least two to three minutes then i go over with my makeup but if not i just go out like this and when i'm out i make sure i'm with my sunscreen as well and reapply every four hours yes please that is another tip for using sunscreen guys don't just use in the morning and then drop your sunscreen at home and leave no make sure you're always with your sunscreen and reapply every three to four hours depending on how you feel like i kind of apply every three to four hours depending on where i am and how my face feels you get so make sure you hold this along with you when you go out okay so guys i've come to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoy watching this video i just said to make this sunscreen review because i wanted to give my honest opinion about this skin doctor sunscreen and yeah i think i did justice to that that that's just what i feel about this sunscreen that's just this is just my honest opinion let me know in the comment section if any of you guys have tried this skin doctor sunscreen and what you guys feel what, what was the result this sunscreen gave you do you like it would you want to purchase this another time for me they don't know i'm not purchasing this anymore but yeah let me know in the comment section what you think about this sunscreen and if you have any other sunscreen that don't leave white cast please drop it in the comment section so that some of us can try out some of those sunscreens okay guys don't forget to like this video give your get a huge thumbs up by liking this video also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so please guys what are you waiting for please guys support your girl by subscribing to this channel like just click on that red subscribe button now click on it yeah thank you thank you guys and i'll catch you up in my next video bye